Hey there, let's talk a little bit about no color powder. All right, now, no color powder was actually originated back in the 1930s, but it wasn't called no color powder. It wasn't called no color powder until Vincent Kehoe took the same powder uh, and, uh, and uh, called it no color powder. And then after that, uh, we also created a no color powder. But the original, the actual original was, or uh, well, if you're gonna say the original was when it was called no color powder, then, that, then fine then the RCMA was the original no color powder called no color powder. But powder that had no color, <laughs> powder that had no color, it was made back in the 1930s and it is, it was used, it was the talc that was used by barbers. And you know, for years and years and years, we used this no color powder uh, because it had no colored pigment in it, all right? And uh, uh, then, um, um, Vinny was 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 uh, uh, was smart enough to say, "Hey, let's capitalize on." It. I'm not sure whether it was Vinny or whether it was was um, uh, his partner. Uh, oh goodness, I can't even think of his name now. Makeup artist from from New York. But but but, uh, um, but and that's irrelevant. But the bottom line here is that no color powder uh, is able to be used on all Caucasians. All right, on all light skinned people all light-skinned people, and even on some light-skinned African-American people and Latinos. All right, now, you've got to be careful using no-color powder when you go on darker skin, all right? When you go darker, um, he, he, what happens is, is the white in the no-color powder, all right, the, the light white ingredients, whether it be talc or whether it be cornstarch or, or whether it be uh, magnesium stearate or, 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 or any of the other ingredients that are in the product, they will create a film on the surface above the foundation. And what happens when that occurs is that it creates on camera, and even in real life, especially in real life, if you have very dark skin, it will create a look of a gray cast. It'll be a gray cast. So it's okay to use no color powder with very light skin, with medium skin, but when it comes to working with dark skin, do not use the light no color powder. To a dark skin, the kind of powder that you use to create the same effect that the no color does on light skin would be a very lightly pigmented powder. All right? A lightly pigmented powder. The pigment in that lightly pigmented powder will keep the foundation from looking gray. All right, so... Lighter, dark-skinned people may be able to use a mixture of, of light and medium powder, all right, as their no-color powder. Darker may be able to use a mixture of medium and dark powder, all right? You simply never apply powder that is as dark as the foundation you've applied because that is when it will look masky and or it will go gray, all right? It will go gray. All right, and you wanna also make sure that there's no titanium dioxide in the no color powder that you're using uh, or in, in any of the powders that you're using so that that it, that's what will make it go gray, all right? It's a metallic pigment, all right? White metallic pigment. So do keep in mind that the, um, the gray cast that's produced on dark skin by no color powder is a no-no. You don't want that, all right? So there you heard it here first, okay? So uh, be very, very careful of that, and I will be talking to you soon.